A big question mark on Tracy Morgan's future in showbiz as the injured comedian lashes out against Walmart. Plus, is Amanda Bynes a fashion school dropout? New alarming details in today's Entertainment City. Will Tracy Morgan ever perform again? The ailing comedian's career is in limbo, according to his lawyer, who says doctors don't even know if the SNL alum, who is still in therapy, will be able to get back to work in the wake of a car crash that left one man dead and Morgan seriously injured. The update on the funny man's condition was given to page six on the heels of Morgan's new statement that is taking aim at Walmart after the company denied it was responsible for the crash. The actor says, I can't believe Walmart is blaming me for an accident they caused. My friends and I were doing nothing wrong. I want to thank my fans for sticking with me during this difficult time. I love you all. I'm fighting hard every day to get back. Morgan is suing the retail giant for damages after a Walmart truck hit the limo he and his friends were riding in. New details are emerging about Amanda Bynes' latest downward spiral. The actress was reportedly kicked out of fashion school. Rumor is Bynes missed a ton of classes, and when she did show up, she was high. And the actress's parents have been quoted saying that they aren't sure where their daughter is, adding they didn't know about the 28-year-old's recent arrest until media reports surfaced. Bynes was charged with a DUI over the weekend in L.A. months after leaving rehab. Breathing new life into the Twilight Saga, five new mini-sequels are now in the works. But first, George Clooney's wedding picks fetch major cash and all for a good cause. It's the wedding that keeps on giving. Intimate photos from George Clooney and Amal Alamuddin's special day reportedly fetch big bucks, as in millions. And the cash? Well, it's going to charity, likely to support human rights. One source tells TMZ that every image of the newlyweds will save a life. And those apparent philanthropic picks are coming to Hello Canada. We have a 32-page extravaganza in the magazine. There's more than 40 photographs. The couple were so generous. There were some really beautiful moments, a lot of tension between the couple, which again, I think might surprise people about George. The new issue of Hello Canada hits your next issue app tomorrow. Calling all Twihards. A revamp of the vampire sensation is in the works, and the franchise's star, Kristen Stewart, is involved. But there's a catch. Upcoming Twilight sequels won't be hitting the silver screen. Instead, new installments will be mini-movies shown exclusively on Facebook next year. And the sequels will be made by aspiring female directors chosen by a panel that includes Stuart and other big names like Modern Family's Julie Bowen. You're excellent. The man behind hit novels like J-Pod and who made terms like Generation X part of pop culture is out with a new non-fiction book called Kitten Clone, which shares an inside look at a secretive tech giant. BT Vancouver's Riaz Megji sat down with the Canadian writer Douglas Copeland to learn more. Alcatel Lucent, the telecommunications company that myself, I didn't know much about and a lot of people don't. Nobody knows about it. Tell us about this company. It is the world's 505th largest company. Uh, <clears throat> But if they were to stop tomorrow, the entire internet would shut down, like everything, you, nothing would work. Uh, but no one ever, ever hears about them. Kitten Clone is available now. Now besides Kristen Stewart and maybe Robert Pattinson, what do you want to see in the new Twilight mini flicks? Tweet us at NCity.